Hi, I'm Bob Akafino. I'm the owner of American Cobalt Aqua Farms. I've been in the aquaculture business for over 30 years. The fish that we grow is, is Arapaima. It's an Arapaima subspecies. We have trademarked the name Peruvian sea bass, and that represents the uniqueness of our fish. Our fish grow to over 400 pounds. They're longer than 10 feet, and they have basically three different flavor profiles of fish. The loin on the fish tastes similar to Chilean sea bass or scallops, and the texture is similar also. The belly on the fish is similar to grouper and a mahi combination. The tail fillet is very similar to wahoo. Our fish consume over 2,000 pounds of food a day. The food that we feed them is sustainably sourced. It's a specific food that we've designed in our labs over the last several years that produces a fish that's high in omega-3s. Some of our fish have tested out that they're higher in omega-3s than salmon. The fish farm in Florida is where we naturally spawn our arapaima. When they reach a certain size, they're transported up to our facility in New Jersey. The farm is 20,000 square foot farm. It's 500,000 gallons of water, and to grow the same amount of fish that we grow in this 20,000 square foot building would take over 100 acres of outdoor ponds. Well, it's an indoor fish farm because we control the environment. Our fish grow 365 days a year. The sun shines in here 365 days a year. The water is warm 365 days a year. The water purity is perfect 365 days a year. And in nature, you don't get that. In nature, it's cloudy sometimes. Sometimes the sun doesn't shine. Sometimes the right temperature isn't there. It rains, it's cold. On all those days, fish don't eat, so fish don't grow. So fish grows basically twice as quick in a sophisticated recirculating system as it would outdoors. Our fish are unique that they're so fresh and the packaging is an oxygen barrier packaging that our fish actually last for approximately 30 days in the right conditions. The restaurants call this fish the Kobe beef of fish. They love this fish. It's easy to prepare, it's hard to burn, it takes on a flavor of different sauces. It's a very unique, mild, white, flaky fish. I'm here with Chef Carmelo and we're preparing the Peruvian sea bass. As you can see, the fish is beautiful. It's a rosé colored flesh. It cooks up perfectly white. Now all we're doing is we salt and pepper the fish. We're gonna put it over high heat, olive oil, and sear it. We're gonna sear this fish for probably four or five minutes on each side. Now you can see that the skin actually cooks up like fried chicken. Now you can notice that rosé flesh is turned into a beautiful white fish. It's a real easy fish to cook. It's very difficult to overcook this fish. It's very difficult to burn. Right now, we're just gonna draw off some of the olive oil. It's just got put in the oven. It's gonna cook in the oven for about six or eight minutes. While we're doing that, we're gonna make the sauce that's gonna go on the fish. A little extra virgin olive oil, put some garlic in there, and then we'll be adding some nice white cooking wine to it. Now we're gonna add the cherry tomatoes. They're gonna to cook for a few minutes until the skin gets wilted on them. Get some butter. Let's take that off the heat. Add a little parsley. Let's check the fish. Pour the sauce on top of the fish. And there you have it. Beautiful Peruvian sea bass. The advantage of buying the fish from our farm is it's to your door in a day or two. Most fish are weeks old before you receive them, and frozen fish sometimes is months old or years old. Our fish is fresh, it's never frozen. Our fish doesn't impact the wild. People don't have to import fish that are caught in the rivers that are barely sustainable, and it's a sustainable, really nice fish.